ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to, welcome to Friday Night is Organ Music Night with something new. Sadly, something that's not mine, but I'm playing with it for a few days and it's rather yummy. A long time ago, well that's not true actually, but a week ago, I got an email from, I'm not going to say who, but I got a message from a member of the Gotchua gang to say, check it out. I've bought or I've got this instrument and I think you'd love it, etc, etc, dot, dot, dot. So I checked out the website of this instrument, I'll tell you what it is in a minute, unless of course you can work out what you think it is yourself. Anyway, um, it's a four manual 175 stop organ, good God. And the company that offers this sample set offer it for a 10 day free trial. So guess what I did? Zoom, I downloaded it yesterday for 10 days. So the next three streams are going to be with this magnificent instrument. At least I will use this for part of the stream. It's absolutely wonderful. Now I only got it up and running today, so I don't know it inside and outside yet. But what I can tell you is, oh my God, it's amazing. It's incredible. Hello? Really? Shouldn't be. Everything is, it should be. Any cables should be all right. That's working. It's coming through. There's a signal. It's miles away from my arm. Um, there might be something wrong with it. We don't know. Um, all right. I'm rattling your ears. That's fine. Yes. Tech turtle. My microphone is nowhere near my arm. It's here. No, it's not going working at all. Okay, it's working now, is it? It seems to be working now. Yes, it's working now. Okay, it may just be we have some kind of... Uh, it could actually be static from my woolly jumper running through the cable. Of course it can't be. I've no idea. It's probably, it's probably time we got a new microphone. Anyway, <clears throat> back to this amazing instrument. And uh, like I say, yes, 10 days of free trial, and I'm going to be using it, I'm going to be demonstrating it, I'm going to be playing with it. Oh my goodness. Now, this is only what I've been playing with today. Like I said, I only loaded it this morning. Uh, in fact, not even this morning, this afternoon. It was lunchtime by the time I finally got it up and running on the system here. And thanks to my good friends, Jerry Martin and James Flores, both of whom are in the audience this evening and both of whom have channels that you really need to go and check out. Um, both Jerry and James have this instrument as well, by the way. And let's just say that James is a lot closer to this instrument than Jerry or I. So um, that might give it away. Has anyone worked out what it is yet? No? No? Anyone worked it out yet? No, the organ. Anyone worked out what the organ is yet? Also, Nobody. Okay, we've gotten rid of the microphone altogether and I'm just using the <clears throat> I'm just using the go the road go thing now. <clears throat> so that might work slightly better. Is this working any better? Do let me know. Do let me know. Anything happening? Anything happening? Can you hear me at all? It's coming through. It's coming through on the system. <clears throat> Everything's working. It should be absolutely fine. Is it working now? Right, okay, so there's something wrong with the little microphone. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Right, the instrument in question is Australian. Well, it's not Australian, it's actually a very British organ, but it's, 
it's um, it's in Australia. It's Melbourne Town Hall, which is one of the largest organs in the universe. I think we can safely say that. Four manuals, 175 stops at the moment. There's a whole battery of stops that are still ready to go at some point. And like I say, this is on trial for 10 days. Now, it's provided by a company called Inspired Acoustics. Now, I've never tried out an inspired acoustics instrument before but if they're all like this then oh my goodness i am seriously impressed now admittedly admittedly to get it to sound the way i've got it to sound today i did a lot of tweaking around with it to get it to sound like this a lot um but i think you might agree it was definitely worth it now to get it to fit on my system and to work stably on my system i had to do a lot of tweaking and playing around with it and I've basically removed all the natural, all the natural acoustics of the organ and I've added reverb. And I've actually added reverb from a French cathedral onto it. Mm. So I hope you don't mind. So it's not exactly the organ as it sounds in Melbourne Town Hall, but I've been playing around with it rather a lot. It makes beautiful sounds, especially soft, solo, gorgeousy, stringy sounds. You know I love all these kinds of things and there's a very special effect on this fourth manual that I'm going to um, demonstrate shortly. Listen to just a piece of waffle music. I'll see if I can hide some kind of spiritual theme in there and uh, yes, let's work it out. It's beautiful. You'll get, you will love this organ. It's absolutely wonderful. I need to close everything down and see where I'm starting. Am I on the right one now? Is this the right registration? Yes. Listen to this. Oh. It's very quiet at the beginning. Go and get some headphones if you don't have them already. You'll need them. Or some very good speakers.
Now that's only part of the beautiful stuff that's coming up here. Now, let me tell you roughly what I did there. This is, this is an amazing instrument. By the way, um, somebody said there, maybe we can uh, save up for the instrument. You want to shock this thing in its full guise costs. You ready for, I hope you're sitting down. Hope you're sitting down. It costs 900 euros. It costs over 900 euros. That's a car in my book. That's, that's what you pay for old cars. Yet yeah, 900 euros. I mean, it probably is worth 900 euros because it really is amazing. But oh my God, that's a lot of money. So, yes, um, <clears throat> let's move on. Now, there are some, this beautiful sound I had here, listen to this again. This is the flute celeste on this solo manual. So this is a solo flute, solo flute on its own. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. But it comes with a flute celeste. Now, anyone who knows me for any length of time or has known me for any length of time knows that the most beautiful sound on any organ, if it's available, is a flute celeste. And this one is unbelievable. What it means, for those of you who don't know, is it means there's two ranks of pipes. They both sound the same. Listen to this. They both sound the same. But one of them is tuned slightly sharper and it gives this effect. lovely sort of undulating sound. Now, to add to that, there's not just that there, there's another one of those things down here on the lower manual as well. And it, hold on, let me get rid of that. It sounds like this. That's much more subtle, isn't it? This one is just... Yeah, beautiful, very subtle. Now, to add to the fluty sounds, there are also, of course, some uh, stringy celeste sounds. So the same thing, but with string sounds. And there are so many of these. Oh my God, there are so many of these. Um, there's a whole division here called the orchestral division. Vanessa, number four, please. All right, Mahesh Mazelba. Uh, yeah. The orchestral division, and this is a floating division, so you can put it wherever you want. I've got it here on the choir, so on the bottom manual. And it has, look at this, it has several different kinds of strings here. Now, the Roman numeral two above it means that there's two ranks of pipes. Giving that shimmering effect. Now, how about this? Orchestral strings, again, to add to that. And then we have an a orchestra, like a viol, viol d'orchestre, as it's called. So like an orchestral violin. And the wonderful thing is they come at various different... Um, actually, let's not do that. First of all, you can have them with octaves and sub-octaves. So you have a whole shimmering orchestra of strings. Which is just amazing, isn't it? It really is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, what I did in that little um, crescendo I had set up there, I had all the flutes that belong to the great manual, of which there are one, two, three, as a solo stop, with a beautiful soft accompaniment on this swell coupled to the choir. Yeah, and then I gradually added all of those wonderful strings to 
all the other Celeste stuff. So we ended up, and of course a lovely big 32, uh, sorry, a gentle 32 foot effect in the pedal. So that gave us this shimmering orchestral sound. It's not everything, by the way, there's more to come. <laughs> um, um, and it gives you this wonderful effect, which I think is beautiful. Actually, it works rather nicely for, he said, I could play, I'll tell you what, let's play a hymn with it. I've got my English hymnal here. Let's play a it's Passion Tide, isn't it? It's going to be Palm Sunday on Sunday. So let's play a Passion Tide hymn. Yeah, let's play this with lots of strings. Listen to this. Bach would kill me, but Bach would love it. Listen to this. How about that? How about that? It's, and you can get sort of orchestral sounds out of it. Now, um, like I said, I've only had this organ for a few hours, so I haven't worked out volume levels yet. So bear with me while I do this over the next few days. Now, while moving around, I discovered that this organ has some rather beautiful solo stops as well. On the solo division, including various clarinets, uh, an oboe and a French horn with the most hilarious tremulant you've ever heard in your life. So let me demonstrate that a little bit. I know we're supposed to be doing other things tonight, but I'm, I'm carried away. Listen to this.
Is it that tremulant on the French horn, the craziest thing you've ever heard? Without it, it's a beautiful French horn. <laughs> it's just completely over the top. No. On the subject of completely over the top, and this is where things get really absolutely bonkers. Um, you can turn this organ into a kind of, I don't know, I don't know how you pronounce it, or not pronounce it, I don't know how you describe it really. It's difficult to know exactly what this organ is. I think that's the easiest way of describing it. Um, it's got everything you could ever imagine, but because it has everything, it's difficult to know what to do. So, I've turned it into a big orchestral symphonic organ. And then it can do things like this. Now, something that's very interesting, let me quickly, what number am I on here? 19, okay. Um, something that's interesting is the pedal department on this organ. And it comes with its usual sort of, let's just say, let's just grab a few 16 foot. A few big noisy 16 foots. It has an awful lot of 32 foots. It has God knows how many open 32s, at least, oh, at least half a dozen. Hope you can hear that all right it has 32 foot reeds it has something bizarre called hold on where are they all a double ophiclide which is absolutely wonderful and then it has something called a diaphone now if you know anything about theater organs you will know what a diaphone is a diaphone is the same principle as a fog horn it's an incredibly loud thing on its own <coughs> yeah, it sounds like a ship's horn, doesn't it? And you get that at two octaves here, 16 and 32. And they do work rather well on their own. And then there is, of course, the stop. Sorry, I'm going to quickly change this myself. There is the stop that everybody talks about on this organ, which is this, the gravissima 64 foot. Now, of course, any of you who know your acoustic principles of sound know that you cannot hear a 64 foot stop. It's impossible. Um, Nobody can hear it because it goes beyond the range of any human hearing. However, you can feel it. And obviously, you can't feel it in a digital environment like this. But down to about A, you can sort of hear it. I have to, um, if I... Get your headphones out for this one. If I play some 32 with it... You can sort of hear, uh, let's get some 16 as well. So this is a 16, 32 and 64 bass. I'm going to go from the top C. Now I'm at middle C. If I carry on going down, you can only sort of hear it to about A, and then it just starts making funny rumble noises. Any lower than that, and it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really do anything. Now, uh, like I said, I'm going to play around now with the symphonic sounds on this organ. So it's basically the stringy stuff we had before, but completely over the top. Nancy said it earlier there, O-T-T, -T. yes, completely over the top. Listen to this.
ah, that's the kind of thing I can sit and do for hours on end and just I, it would bore you senseless, I'm sorry, you know, but it's just, this organ is over the top beyond belief. So there you are, those are the sorts of the um, orchestral, symphonic sounds it can make. Lots of coupling everything, all these manuals together onto one. I, I don't know why, I just like to couple things onto the bottom manual for some reason. Um, and it just works. And then you couple them at different octaves as well. So when you're playing like this octave here, you're actually playing three octaves all at the same time. The organ does that for you. It's incredibly sophisticated. It's absolutely wonderful. For those of you joining us late, this is the Melbourne Town Hall instrument from Inspired Acoustics, which I am demonstrating at the moment. And um, I'm testing it out for 10 days. Um, and, you know, yeah, I'm testing it for 10 days. After the 10 days, I don't care. Um, at least I've had the chance to test it. Let's put it like that. So now this, like I said, it's an instrument that can do anything. But can it? Can it play jazzy music as well. Of course it can. Of course it can. It even has some rather bizarre effects. Um, let me see. Can I play that? Why not, actually? Here's a piece of music that was actually requested last Sunday by our favorite Dutch colonel. That'll be Colonel Ryan. Colonel Ryan, who requested this, and I think it should work. I've set up a few sort of jazzy sounds or kind of jazzy sounds i think let me just make remind myself what the hell i did here how many how many did i have six seven seven okay up to seven so i've got eight different jazzy things here now it can do it it's not perfect at doing these things but like i say i'm only about this far under the surface so far i've got a long way to go Let's see what we can work out here. Let's see if you recognize this.
There you are, a bit of Gilbert O. Sullivan, not Gilbert and Sullivan, Get Down. There's a wonderful recording of Gilbert O'Sullivan playing that in duet with uh, Elton John back in the 70s. Is it the Jimmy Yes. Exciting stuff indeed. And it will, it will do jazzy stuff, this organ. It's quite interesting. Now, there are some sort of effects. There's a snare drum, which you can just hear very gently there, and a bass drum. And you can mix them together. And that crazy thing at the end is what's called the Trumpet Victoria, presumably for Queen Victoria. And it doesn't just come at eight foot, it comes at eight and sixteen foot pitch and it's just stupid. Why would anyone ever want that much noise? <laughs> yes, any organist in the room know exactly what we're talking about. Of course you want that much noise. Wonderful stuff. We've had a request by Bye, 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 bye. Uh, I can click, her name is Karin, but it's actually someone else in the chat. You know who you are. You know who you are. Vanessa, sing it in the background. Svala Freyis. Svala Freyis. Svala Freyis, which sounds rather exciting. What a wonderful name. Uh, Svala Freyis. And I think we will play it. On the traditional registration, traditional organ registrations, it's a piece of music. It's again by Mr. J. S. Bach. It's Jesus unser Trost und Leben. It's a hymn or a chorale by Bach, and I must admit I'm not sure I know it, but I'm sure I can sight read it. So here we are. Let's give it a go. Uh, on an organ that doesn't sound German at all, but maybe I can make it sound German. Probably not.
Yeah, I like that. I like that indeed. That's a good, robust sound. And like I say, I will be working on that to, um, to get to know it a bit better. So on Sunday evening, and our Sunday night is organ music night, I will use it again. And by that time, I will have gotten to know it a little better. So um, I'll have some more registrations set up, some more exciting sounds and um, some more delicious noises coming up. There are other um, percussion sounds on the organ, but the way I've set it up at the moment, they, are, they sound awful. Um, they need to have the full, the full effect of the entire organ and all the samples. And I had to sort of cap the samples to get it to fit on my system without overloading. Mm. But I can then go back and reload those individual percussion stops with the full length of sample and uh, they will then sound properly. So we'll get that done for Sunday. Do you like this organ? Do you think it's an interesting organ? Do you think it's something uh, people need in their sample set collection? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the um, chat and we'll keep an eye on it. Like I say, it's incredibly expensive. So um, I certainly won't be purchasing it after the 10 day trial is up. If anyone knows anyone at Inspired Acoustics, do put in a good word for me, you know what I mean? So if you know the guys at Inspired Acoustics, then yeah, put in a good word for me. Now, uh, before we get really deep into our Spiritual to Swing program, and before I change the organ, this is the last thing I'm gonna play on this organ for now, unless of course you want me to continue playing around with it for you this evening, do let me know. Um, and we shall sort it out. Let me go and put my, Actually, no, how are we going to do this? Actually, we could, we could get away with that. Yes, we could get away with that. A couple of weeks ago, Gleis Wanderer, our friend Gleis Wanderer, requested a crazy piece of music that I have never played before, and I still haven't played it. I've printed it out, at least, um, and I will try to play it for you now. Like I say, I've never played it before. This is sight reading. It's called... Bach Goes to Town, and it's by a jazz pianist, a blind jazz pianist, I will have you know, called Alec Templeton, who is of course sadly no longer with us, but yeah, wonderful chap. Very, very interesting jazz piano style. Go and check out Alec Templeton's jazz playing style, incredible. Um, but he composed this piece called Bach Goes to Town, a prelude and fugue in swing. Uh-oh. And here's me sight reading it. For Gleis Wanderer. Most people get it wrong because they play it straight. It should be played swing. And it should hopefully sound something like this.
Oh, that's you, jo Mrs. Gancho. You're my director. Mrs. Gancho, you're my director. You do the microphones. Hey, you do. Ay, 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 ay. She does the microphones. She does the. Bit. Yes, we're having a, a, a silent film night. Oh, we have oh we have a spammer again. How wonderful! We love spammers. Sorry about that. Spammers are great. It shows that YouTube is picking us up. That's a good thing. Cheers. You've gotten rid of him. Okay, well that's fine. Sorry. What I was saying was, Bach goes to town. Alec Templeton. What a wonderful piece of music. Everyone should have it in the repertoire. I will go and practice it and play it again sometime. Turn it into an organ arrangement. It's of course written for piano. But you could definitely turn it into a proper organ piece. It would be good fun. Right. Um, I asked Vanessa, are people interested or do you like this organ? Shall I stay on it this evening? And she said, yes, everybody loves it. Thank you for telling me that. Um, I think what I will do, however, is give me until Sunday night. So make sure you come back. Sunday night is organ music night. Same time, 10 p.m. That's Central European time, which is currently 9 p.m. UK time, which is currently... Oh, uh, what is that? 4 p.m. Eastern Summer Standard Time, or whatever you call it, over in the States, and etc., etc. So you work it out. 8 p.m. UTC. That's the important thing. Um, and by Sunday night, I will have been able to tweak it even further, dig deeper, register things in a different way, and have much more fun with it, and see what we can come up with. Hmm. So it's rather exciting indeed. Um, yes, what I was also about to say was a CD. Hurrah, the CD project. <sighs> Next week, the CD company has informed me I will have my hands on the CD within the next five to seven days. Wait a minute, today's Friday. Yes, today's Friday. So within the next five to seven days, I will have my hands on the CD. Ah, and finally, 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 finally we can get it sent around the world to the brave supporters who've hung on so long. <sighs> waiting. Thank you for waiting so patiently. You are the most wonderful, patient people. And um, I can only say I'm sorry. It's all been beyond my control, sadly. Um, and yeah, but it's coming. It's coming and it will be sent out and it will be sent first, of course, to the people who supported the project and then it will become open to the general public. It will be available as a CD and a download. Now, the music books, the, um, all the people, if you don't remember, I, um, I commissioned or I was commissioned to write 10 pieces of music for 10 of you. Um, and um, I'm quite proud of them. There's a, there's a secret running sort of uh, theme running through all 10 pieces. Um, I wasn't going to mention that yet, but you will. Once you, once you hear it, you'll work it out. Um, and all the people who supported the project to get it going, thank you, um, and, you know, they get the thank you, they get a CD, or they may have ordered the CD together with a book of the music itself. So all the pieces of music have been transcribed or written, written out. Uh, and they're available in a book. Now that book is only available to the people who sponsored or helped out or supported the project. Mm. In time, individual pieces, if I, if I hear or feel that people are enjoying the pieces of music individually, then individual manuscripts of the pieces may be available. I'm not sure about that yet. It's a costly enterprise printing music books, but um, but uh, that may come in the future. But the CD will be available as a physical CD and uh, album download. An album download. Very important. Okay, so that's all coming within the next week. So I promised it for Christmas. So now it's coming for Easter. There you are. At least we're sticking to church festivals. <clears throat> yes, so I can only apologize for the time it's taken. But sadly, it was completely beyond my control. And set... C'est la vie, as they say. Um, sorry? Oh, yes. Um, yes. Here, save the date. Save the date. Have you got it? Save the date. Three, two, one, click. Ladies and gentlemen, the Garchor Festival, the first international Garchor Festival, will take place from the 1st to the 7th of May 2022. We will have it on Hauptwerk organs. We will have it on live organs. We will have guest players. We will have all sorts of exciting things. So make sure you save that 
or save those dates from the 1st to the 7th of May. That's an entire week. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a, an, a big organ festival. Just us, just for you. Online festival, I must add. Uh, there will be live organs there, but the concerts, the performances will all be online. They will be streamed live or at least um, premiered on YouTube every evening from the 1st to the 7th. So that's the plan. Right. Have we got any more news, Mrs. Gartra? Was that the news? news? There's no news, she says. There is, of course, news. Have you checked out Vanessa's channel, Garcho's Garden? No. You have, of course, checked it out, haven't you? The third video went up online today, and it's really rather cool. It's very short, it's very cute, and it's one of those videos that didn't work, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's move. Let's move, and we're going to move to... We're going to move to... You have modified some settings. Do you want to save your changes? Uh-oh, I'd better had, hadn't I? I will say save. Right, bye-bye. That was Melbourne Town Hall. See you again on Sunday. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we are going to head to a lovely little Czech village called Nitra and play some spiritual and jazzy swingy stuff on a Baroque-sounding organ. This is fun. Get ready for this. Uh, are you all giving us thumbs up, by the way, and doing all that kind of things? Yeah. And oh, and of course, thank you, of course, for being, you know, supportive. I gather, Vanessa, are people being supportive this evening? I imagine they are. Vanessa is nodding her head. We have had a donation or two, have we? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, she says. Okay. How many have we had? Show me fingers. A few. A few. We have had a few donations this evening. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Your donations go towards things like sample set, uh, microphones, apparently. This is obviously this thing is a bit dead now, which is a bit of a shame. It was quite expensive. But these things, you know, they do get wear and tear on them. Now, this is a beautiful little instrument. It looks absolutely delightful in its cute little church. And, uh, hold on, I want that one, don't I? This is one of my favourite little um, organs, and you can do all sorts of cute, jazzy stuff on it. For example, something like this. This is a completely different sound now. We're into an intimate little European church. Get ready for this. You can hear all the squeaks and whistles and bangs and farts in the background. It's great. Listen to this.
Un momento. Lullaby of Birdland with a naughty boogie in the middle. Isn't this a wonderful instrument? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sing along. You know what to sing. There's only one thing we do sing together on these, and the word or the name we want in the middle is Colin. It's Colin's birthday tomorrow. Now, Colin lives over in the New York area, so obviously it won't be his birthday for a little while longer, but it's Colin's birthday, and we're going to sing Happy Birthday to Colin. especially for Colin, to finish it off. Sorry, yes, apparently this microphone is now too loud. Yeah, oh, the fun and games of all these technical things. Isn't this a cute little instrument? It does some really funky stuff. One minute, let me quickly change this. Uh, it does some really rather funky stuff. Check this out.
Wasn't that cute? Swing low, sweet chariot, given the Nitra treatment. Now, I bet a piece of music like that has never been played on the original music before, on the original organ like that before. It's a very sort of chiffy. I saw someone talking, um, was it Tech Turtle? I think it was Tech Turtle, talking about the sort of the, the, um, the sounds of the, shall we say, the air entering the pipe, the chiff sound that's going on in the background there, that's been perfectly and beautifully sampled by Piotr Grabowski in that organ there. Um, Piotr goes to a lot of work to um, capture every detail of every pipe and the way they speak, the way the air enters into it. Don't forget, when you're playing a mechanical organ like that, you press a key, which pulls on a little valve. There's a whole lot of things going on in between, of course, but it pulls on a little valve and air under pressure is then, foom, gets up and into the pipe that's above that little valve, shall we say, uh, simple as that. So that sort of immediate sort of rush of air past the valve in the way into the pipe, that's a sort of the, the chiffy, the chiffy attack, I suppose, of the pipe speaking. And some organ sample set builders don't like that. They sort of clean that off, believe it or not. Uh, they take the sample of the pipe and they clean all that extraneous noise away. And Piotr, Piotr does it, you know, he leaves all that in and it just it makes for a wonderful sound. Now, we're traveling around the world today and we're going to end up, of course, we're going to end up in, in Alessandria on our way, our tuba loving organ uh, in Italy. And um, this is where I'm going to play one of the most famous spiritual pieces ever. And I want you to tell me the history of it, please.
Amazing Grace. Harmonien? Wovon? Und das, oh Gott, das will. Some people just asked if I could publish the, the harmonies for what I just did. Or um, I have no idea what I played. That's the thing. It's all improvised. So I'm, I'm not really sort of, you know, I'm not memorizing what I'm doing. I'm just sort of playing. Um, um, I suppose I could section that part of the video out at some point and maybe try to write out what I played. Um, sadly, I don't, well, I should actually, when I'm playing these concerts, I should record the MIDI files of what I'm doing here, because then at least I can go back and see the keys moving on the organ, I can transcribe it that way. The MIDI files themselves are useless, you can't use them for any notation software. Um, at least I can't find a way to get them to work in a notation software program. That would make my life a lot easier. Um, I haven't found a way of making that work yet, but at least I can sort of slow it down and see what I'm doing, which keys I'm pressing and things like that. No, that's all improvised and I'm sort of, I'm a million miles away when I do that kind of thing. Um, there could be, yeah, there, there could be, the village could be burning around us and I wouldn't know uh, that kind of thing. Vanessa is always sort of things that, you know, when I'm, when I'm away in my musical world, that then, you know, anything can happen mm -hmm. and I wouldn't know. <laughs> she says it's like that all the time. It doesn't have to be my musical world. Thank you for that, Mrs. Gartshaw. Thank you for that. Yes, that's very kind of you. Yes. Now, I don't know. Did you hear the crackling and popping coming through when I was playing there? Um, while I was playing that piece of music, the computer was having one of its brain farts again. And there was lots of crackling and popping. Let me know if that's coming through on the recording or coming through on the stream, because that would be very interesting to know. I'm not sure that it does, funnily enough, but um, it's really rather weird. And it only does it on this organ, and I can't work out why. It's weird. Or maybe it's just, you know, it's getting to that point in the evening where the computer said, that's it, I've had enough. Um, this computer is sadly on its last legs, and um, yes, um, the Garchos are sort of saving up for a new PC machine at some point. Probably sooner than later, the way it's looking at the moment. I think we will have to change... Oh, no, actually, we won't change, but I think what I will do... Actually, no, we have to change because it's going to... It's going to continue doing it, I'm afraid. I'm very sorry about that. It's going to continue doing it. Um, I promised some swing stuff tonight as well, didn't I? Highland Cathedral. Highland Cathedral? God, that's about as gospelly spiritual as you can get. Leslie Schramm, I heard the cracklings. Oh, damn it. Okay, thank you. Nola heard them as well. Um, Joe Human said, yeah, I'm guessing that's Joe saying yes to the crackles. Yes, it was crackling for about a minute. Good God, that's an awful lot, isn't it? Um, Adrian Morris, yes, I use Sibelius as well. I know it will record and notate MIDI signals, but, but, problem is, it can't do anything with the MIDI files that Hopwerk creates. And um, my setup only passes MIDI from this to the computer. It doesn't pass MIDI out to any other sources, which is a bit of a problem. Um, so no, I've tried that. I've tried, I've tried doing, you know, playing a piece of music straight into Sibelius. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Um, at least I can't get it to work. Maybe that's just me being an idiot. So Adrian, if you know how to get it to work, then let me know. Get in touch via the contact form. Mm. Frantisek, could you play Bugatti Step tonight? What's Bugatti Step? What's Bugatti Step? Frantisek, what is Bugatti Step? Let me know. Hopwerk as plugin for Logic Pro. Yeah, I've tried that as well. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's really weird. It's really weird. The MIDI files that Hopwerk creates are basically for Hopwerk only. They, they, they do create a sort of a MIDI thing, and you could very painstakingly turn it into notation in Sibelius or Finale or whatever, 
but it would be an incredible amount of work and it just it wouldn't be worth it it'd be quicker just to um it'd be a lot quicker just to um my god what is that that's not what i'm looking for let's go for this then that looks more fun that's not right oh yes it is there it is that's what i was looking for sorry i'm doing three things at once there um anyway that's a cute sound isn't it here's a jazzy piece of music on a french cathedral organ we're moving into swing time this is a piece of music called sing you sinners perfect sort of uh, yeah perfect
Sing you sinners. Oh my goodness. That's more like a sound again, isn't it? That's a much better sound. This organ is, of course, perfectly capable of making beautiful sensual noises as well. But what it does best is this. That's it. Someone said, who said it? The big French cathedral roar. That was Frantisek again. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> it's just absolutely wonderful stuff. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful stuff. <sighs> it really makes a big noise. Rasbaz, it's snowing. Well, Rasbaz lives in Switzerland, so you would expect it to snow in Switzerland at this time of year, wouldn't it? Having said that, when we were out and about this afternoon shopping and doing what we do, going to supermarkets and things, it was, um, it was snowing a little bit here as well. Hmm? Lies of Riesel de Schnee. Lies of Riesel de Schnee. Do I even know that? Um, how does that go? These are all these German tunes that I don't know because I'm a foreigner. Um, ah. 
Is that the one? Something like that. Something like that. Oh, you're not in Switzerland at the moment. Oh, well, in that case, I take it back. What? I'll tell you what, though, for all the people who are out there, if, if you live in a warm part of the world, you won't believe it, but we've had, the last couple of weeks, we've had like 20 degrees, beautiful sunshine, and now it's sort of minus God knows what, and snowing again. So I think it's time then for this.
<laughs> you had to do it, didn't you? You just had to do it, didn't you, Mr. Gotcha? Yes, well. Mm. It's madness at this time of, well, I suppose it's still the early part of the year, isn't it? So why shouldn't it be snowing? We're going to have to close up for this evening. It's getting very close to midnight, which means in this part of the world, it's Colin Charmley's birthday. And Colin Charmley has a certain piece of music that he absolutely loves to hear on the organ. It's a lovely old swing number from the pen of Thomas Fats Waller. And it's this. It's called... Honey suck my no sorry honey suckle rose not honey suck my nose no honey suckle rose that's the one
That then was Honeysuckle Rose for Colin, whose birthday it is, at least over here in this part of the world. So happy birthday, Colin. Hope you have a wonderful time. Uh, do celebrate as much as you possibly can and uh, let us know. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to finish off and head to bed. It's late. It's just gone midnight here. So time for bed, said Zebedee. Who was that? What was that all about? Thank you very much for watching. That was Friday Night is Organ Music Night. Slightly different programme to the one I had planned because I was playing around with the Melbourne Town Hall instrument at the beginning. And like I say, on Sunday night, I will have more of that magnificent instrument for you. Um, I'll be playing around with it, coming up with some more exciting things. So if you have any requests for Sunday evening's programme, get them in. Gang at garchor.de. Is that correct? De, yeah. Gang at garchor.de is the email address. Can you put it in the chat, please, gang at garchor? Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, if you have any requests, send them in. If you have the music for your requests as well, send them in too, because that saves us having to look for it. You know what I mean? We can just print it out to get it. There you are. Vanessa's just put it in uh, the chat for you. And uh, yeah, we look forward to it. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful weekend. See you on Sunday evening. This is a few bars of Ain't Misbehaving Again from Fats Waller on this magnificent French cathedral organ. Did you know back in the 1930s, Fats Waller actually played the organ in Notre Dame Cathedral together with Louis Vierne? Can you imagine how much fun that would have been. Night-night, everybody. Mm -hmm.